when art backgrounds came out on Squarespace, I thought, who on earth is going to use these? What's the point? I, I don't get it. And they look really weird. But as time went on, I actually found that I, I used them on quite a lot of websites. And I actually use an art background on my blogging course website, which I built on Squarespace. Link to that below in the description if you want to check it out. But I digress. And anyway, when you add an art background, what it brings up is this little play and pause button in the bottom right hand corner. And I just found this to be really, really ugly. And I, I didn't understand why. What I assume is it's got something to do with the fact art backgrounds may take up a lot of, a lot of bandwidth and users may want to just simply pause it because it's too busy. And that may be the case for some art backgrounds, like they may get a little bit too busy, but the ones that I use are really, really low key. And I'll show a few examples in a moment. But let's say you had a video background. So you had a video playing. Squarespace doesn't offer native video controls at the bottom. They don't have a play and a pause button. You can code this in, but it doesn't offer this natively. So I'm thinking, if they don't offer it for video, why are they offering it as standard, untoggleable on these art backgrounds? So anyway, I put it in, I thought it looked terrible. So what I did was I just wrote a little code that gets rid of it, hides it, allows you to keep a beautiful art background without the need for this really stupid button that just looks ridiculous. So it's a super simple code. We'll head on over to the screen and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's go over art backgrounds. If we go into our site and click edit, let me just shrink me down. We can add an art background to anything. So, but let's just go for a blank section for now. So we've got a blank section here. If we go into edit section and then background, we can either add an image, add a video or select art. Now art gives us all these crazy, strange, oftentimes terrible backgrounds, but what it does give us down here is this weird play pause button. So if I just save this, I personally think that this just ruins it. So what we wanna do is we wanna click Shift, Command and C. Then what we wanna do is hover over our item here, find out what it's called. And it says background pause button before, but I know that it's not before, it's one up. So you can see the button class is actually one up here. You've got the button class, and then before and after, but we want to hide the whole thing. So if you see something like this, where you can clearly see the class above here, you click on that. And then the top one that comes up is background pause button visible. And we want to basically change this display from block to none. So if we go to design and custom CSS, paste our selector in, and I'll just get it up so you can see it. Squiggly brackets, display, none. And you can see it's gone. All good. So we've got our art background. We don't have to have that stupid button. So we click save, hit edit, and we can actually mess around with our art backgrounds now. I find that the best one is something like this. This is quite low key. And you can randomize it completely like this. <laughs> I've just said it's low key and it's just come up like this. But you can get some low key ones. So if I go into these here, this is our settings, and we play around with the colors. You can see we can play around with all of the color settings, play around with the secondary colors. And I find that the, the closer the colors are that I use to each other, the better it looks because it's it's a lot more understated and it's not like this all singing, all dancing background. It just adds a little bit more than a simple video or an image. Then we can also, let me just move this, we can also play around with the shape and the size of the particles. You can have lots or little and then you can see the opacity. If we have low opacity, they're not that visible. High opacity, they're slightly more visible. And then we can change the waves. You can you can change everything. I'm not going to show you every single setting. But let's hit save. You can get to a point where you think, okay, that's actually a really cool background. It sort of lends itself well with the imagery around, around the site. And it just offers users a little bit something different than what they're used to. Like I say, art backgrounds are a little bit marmite. Some people like them, some people think they look a bit garish. But if you do it pretty understated and you get rid of the weird uh, button, then I think they can be a real winner. And if this has helped, so if you found this video useful, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of my Squarespace resources in the description below.